Hi, this is Morgan, and welcome back to Sky Factory 2. I um, wanted to give a quick update. You'll see some flashing lights there in the background. I've been trying to automate my moo cows, or the moo fluid cows, not moo cows. <laughs> Sorry, I'm talking like a three-year-old there. Um, and I tried a million different ways, and I just could not get it to work. And then I started looking through the mod list, and I came up with a solution, and it's working fantastically. So we'll talk about that in a little bit. Um, we did a couple of things um, while I was offline. Let me get out of this mode. I... Okay. And let's take a look. So one of the things I did was I got some applied energistics online. So what I've got here is um, a bunch of ME controllers um, going up with P2P tunnels. Um, which and then the dense cables running all over the place. This is not the most efficient thing. I think I'm wasting a bunch of channels um, because I think if I were, I think each one of these tunnels brings 32. And so I, right now, if I like this one, well, it's like a, well, let's get up here a little bit. I, so I think I could come off in eight different directions or a bunch of different directions off of this guy. And right now I'm only pulling off eight channels. You can see eight of eight. So. Actually, if you look at the dense table here, you can see I'm only pulling eight, 8 of 32 off. So I am not being very efficient with this. So I need to rework this a little bit. Um, but I did get this kind of set up at least kind of going a little bit. Um, made a whole bunch of uh, 64K um, storage cells. Um, that's just usually what I do. Um, no sense going with the little ones. I've got more resources than I know what to do with. Um, I am filtering out um, into a trash can the uh, some of the common loot bags or some of the loot bags. Um, I need to automate pulling those out because I know I can melt down iron. But uh, when I show you my moo, moo fluid cow um, processing plant, um, you'll see why I probably don't even need loot bags anymore. Um, we do have uh, some crafting storage and a co-processing unit. Um, I need to expand that right now. I can only make one thing at a time, but it really doesn't matter too much. Um, let's see, what else did I do? Oh, so I set up a few machines. Um, I need to cover the rest of them up, um, but I've got some some uh, the automatic hammerers here. And so what these guys are doing, we'll come to the back side for a minute. Um, these automatic hammerers, they are pulling out of the system all of the gravels um well actually before i do that we should probably talk about this one let me come over here here so what i'm doing is as i'm sieving my materials i'm putting them into the center chest and you can see everything's going through this one ender chest the blue white blue um what i'm doing here is i've got several export buses um so these are getting powdered, um, these are getting the crushed, and on the back side here, um, these are all the broken ones. Um, I'm pulling those all into this chest, and then once they get into this chest, they run through the packaging, or the auto packager, in a two by two, and then they're going into this, and you can see one right there, and then they're getting um, back here, I've got an export bus just pulling everything out. I've got so I think I've got some accelerators on it just to, yeah, acceleration cards on it just to kind of pull things out faster. Um, up here, I'm exporting all the rotten flesh, which is going through an oak barrel into this hopper and down also and export it out. So that's making uh, dirt based on uh, mob drops. I can do it with a bunch of other mob drops, but for now, uh, I have no use for rotten flesh, so that's the one I'm using. Um, I've got a resonant induction smelter here, um, and what this one specifically is doing is, if we look at the export bus, it's exporting iron ingots on one side, ferrous on the other, and so I've got, I was just really playing around with the level emitter, so it's building invar, so when I've got um, fewer than a thousand invar in the system, it's going to start pro it's going to turn on this induction smelter all this induction smelter does is create invar um this is going to go away again i'll show you my move move fluid cow processing plant and you'll see why 
Um, here I've got a deep storage unit. Um, I'm making a ton of cobble. And you can see I've got 2.2 million cobble already. Um, this alloy smelter, I've just got it set up. Actually, let's put it. Let's, um, this, I was using this one to create um, a bunch of the different ores as I needed. Um, I haven't really automated any of the actual building of things yet. It's really just ore processing that I've kind of automated. Um, here's just a cobble chest. Um, so what happens is I auto sieve everything, um, goes through the packager, um, and then this one is processing, um, and you might be able to see one come in here in a second. Uh, this is processing all the, I think the, gra the gravel ores. This one's processing all of the crushed ores, I think. I get so confused. It does, I do so much here. Okay, yeah, so this is all the sand, and this one's all the gravel. And then the dusts, I'm simply putting into the resonant pulverizer. And from there, it goes into the redstone, a resonant redstone furnace. So. And I've got those fully upgraded. So what's this one getting? Yeah, so this right now is just processing all of the, um, I took out aluminum, I don't really need it. Um, all of the dusts. Um, so it's pulverizing all the dusts. So I can do a double it. Um, this one is pulling out all the pulverized stuff and simply um, putting a furnace. You can see I also have got the Eulorium dust in here to create my Eulorium ingots. Because the next project I'm going to have once I've got these, you know, once I show you everything, is to start on the big reactors. I probably won't do that today. But this is basically some automation of the ore processing. That's that's all of that's all this is right here. Um, <clears throat> so I moved, I tore down a whole bunch of my stuff over here, and because my I wasn't making enough lava, just use the way I was working. I tried some different pipes on this one, but we come up here. Um, I'm using blazing pyrothium because that's the, I believe it's the fastest, uh, you can see a melting speed of seven. So I've got source blocks of blazing pyrothium under each one of these, um, what are these, the crucibles? Yeah, crucibles. Um, I've got a cobble factory down there, so it's pump, it's always pumping cobble in. And I am, I've got down here. All of these fluid ducts are pulling it out and putting it in this tesseract. And this tesseract is simply just my lava. So that all that, the only job of this entire system here is to build lava. Um, I actually, you can see I got quite a bit of blazing pyrothium. I actually, because um, you can, let's see, blazing pyrothium. So what I did was I actually um, made a whole bunch of the pyrothium dust and and put it in a magma crucible that's how i got all of all of this now i do have um, a blazing pyrothium fluid cow so we'll be able to automate the milking so this really goes away i don't really have much use for blazing pyrothium right now um let's see what else okay so i guess we can talk about uh, all the different things i tried so I've been trying to automate the move fluid cows. And so a couple things I've tried, I had a, a bunch of conveyors going around um, this little, this uh, in a track right here. And I had a bunch of autonomous activators. And the problem is eventually over time, you can see another failed attempt over here. I tried to you know keep it a little further out. Eventually over time, what happens is the autonomous activator works too fast and it will, it will actually put drop down whatever bucket it just pulled from the cow which will kill the cow which is why there's no cow in here and so i thought well okay so that's not working so let's let's try one of eat those hopper clocks um so you can see i've got this set up so that interesting it's no longer oh i bet you i let me let me put this back
I'm not sure why it's Well, at any rate, so the whole idea, I think is an RS normal latch or something like that, and it comes through and it'll do a tick um, on this redstone torch. So I, I tried doing that, and you can see down here, I've got a, a couple of them set up. And so mm -hmm. what it's doing is, as it goes through these items, mm -hmm. um, it'll, it'll tick this redstone uh, torch right here, and I've just pillared it up or, you know, so... It, it's powering this block, which powers the block on top of it, and which powers the block on top of it, and it just does a quick pulse there. Now the problem with this was it was still, and you can see if we watch the, where's the one that's pulsing? Here's one that's pulsing. Um, it was still, um, and we, I think we can watch it from here. You can see how slow the, well, I took that one out. Okay, so anyway, so the the pulse was still eventually um, dumping the, the fluid. And, and most of the fluids, like I think this one's a lava cow. The second it drops that fluid, that cow gets eaten up and then it's gone. So that wasn't working. Um, I have a, just a little auto spawner set up here to, to duplicate the, the cows so that I could get different kinds. Here's another one I thought, well, maybe the... You know, maybe how I'm pulling the 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 um, the buckets out because I had filters set up, so I can kind of show it to you real quick. I mean, I tried all different kinds of conduits and buckets. Here, I've got some speed. I thought, well, let's pull it out as fast as we can. I tried molten steel here, and it was pulling the molten steel buckets out, trying to put it here, and then putting it in here. You can see I got up to fourteen thousand, and it eventually just killed my cow, and it was gone. And then the 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 bucket would come back out here, the empty bucket, and back in. Eventually, it would just still kill the cow. So that wasn't working. I tried impulse item ducts. I tried warp item ducts. I tried ender IO conduits. Um, I mean, I you know, fluid transposers to pull the stuff out instead of trying to use an autonomous activator. I tried probably 10 or 20 different designs. I looked it up on the internet. I looked everywhere. Could not figure it out. And then I looked at the mod list. And I realized we have computer craft in here. So what I did was I wrote a quick little program. And I'm a, I'm a programmer by trade. So um, it was one of those things where it's a little bit intuitive if you're a programmer. So I made this little structure here. And this is the first one I made. And oh, I don't know how to. Well, it's, I'll, I'll show you. I don't know how to. I'm not really good with the actual computers themselves, so let's look at a um, these are turtles. So I'll get a turtle here and I'll just show you right here what I was doing. So So what I did was I wrote a little program and all this program does is just a while true do. And then I said turtle select one place. And I'll, I'll tell you what this does in just a second. A second so this is the entire program and so let's uh, go ahead and save it 
And so what it does is we've got a, an infinite while loop, and so this is just going to run and run and run. Um, it's going to select the item in inventory one. And actually, let's go ahead and get a couple buckets of stuff. Um, we can use... We'll just use water just for fun. It doesn't really matter. And so I would put my empty bucket in position one. I would put a, whatever I'm extracting from the cow in, in position two. And so what this next line does is if compare, so the selected one is one. So this is the selected inventory slot. So I compare this to the item in position two. And if they're the same, which means I've extracted a, you know, from a water cow, water, then I'm going to print sending to transposer and I'm going to uh, basically drop the bucket above me and then I'm going to sleep. So what I've done over here is that same program is running. So in this one, I've got resonant ender because I've got a resonant ender cow back here in this little section there. You can see them right there. And I've named all these cows um, just to, so they don't despawn. Um, but I've got an empty bucket here, I've resonant the enter bucket here and what it's doing is it is going to um, take the empty bucket try to milk the cow if it fills it up and therefore slot position one is now a resonant ender bucket um, then it's going to put it up here in this chest where it's going to the, the bucket it's going to get pulled out i've got a fluid transposer here where i'm going to import from the top um, and i'm going to Put the empty bucket back over on um, back into the turtle and then i'm going to when it when it extracts the fluid it's going to put it in here in this this liquid inventory and then i pull it out of there and put it in into this ender drum or into this uh, drum so i have run this just overnight and i'm almost mm -hmm. at a full bucket's worth of that so i've got the same kind of setup all the way around. I'm going to I'm gonna probably try to get uh, every type of fluid cow because the program is pretty easy. Um, but this one is Jelly Cryothium. We're almost full on that. This one's Molten Electrum. Almost full on that. This is Lead. Getting close. This one's Gold. Liquefied Emeralds. Um, destabilized Redstone. I think this is Invar. This is why I no longer need to process Invar because I've got a drum filling up with it. I think this is Shiny. Um, so I've got, you know, 37 buckets of Shiny. Um, this is Molten Obsidian. This one's Manulian. Uh, we'll come back to that one. This is, is this Essence. Yep, so this is Mob Essence. This is Nutrient Distillation. I just grabbed a couple cows. I don't I don't really know what nutrient distillation is used for. Um, this is so these were all the prototype ones. I just wanted to see if it if it would uh, run overnight and run while I was offline. And you can see they're all filling up really quick. So this is going to be my final setup here. So I've just got some conduit facades here, here, and here to hide those those same um, conduits. Um, now instead of putting it into a drum, I actually export it into a casting basin. Here I've got an item duct that pulls it out of the casting basin once it's full. You can see this one's uh, three quarters full. And it's gonna put the Enderium blocks in. So I have got just, I've been running this one just for a couple hours this morning. And I've got 17 blocks of Enderium right now. Um, eventually I'll wanna try to get this set up so that it'll you know, pull down and then import it into our system, or our AE network. Um, but for now, you know, it's a simple matter of just coming over here, grabbing what I need, breaking it down, and then sticking it in our AE system where I can actually build stuff. So, you know, for right now, it's not a big deal. Um, so that's that. So I finally, and, and I haven't had a single cow fatality since I, since I built this. Um, so I'll probably put uh, another level or I might fill up the inside here with some additional cows. I think we're supposed to, um, via the achievement book, uh, do 20 cows. I'll probably do them all just, just to have them done. 
but so that's that's the cow setup um let's see what else um here's where all my lava is coming in right now this is my only source of power so i've got a bunch of um, resonant magmatic dynamos and you can see they're all you know they're not even tapped out right now i actually have a bedrockium drum that is completely full and fully powering all these so i mean i'm getting too much lava from that i think once i get a, a lava cow it'll be even easier um there's some cobble production here some more cobble production here this one is feeding into cyclic assemblers oops and this one so basically it's going to make the compressed cobblestone so that over here you know so i've already got two septuples and i've got another octuple compressed one here and if you cook the octuple compressed cobble, you'll actually get a bedrockium um, block, which is, um, you know, then I can use that to make more bedrockium drums. I'm probably not going to need any more bedrockium drums since I'm going to actually, well, I might use it for mob essence or I might might use it. Actually, I might even put on uh, one of these ender, what are these things called? Um, an ender tank. Um, instead of using drums here because then I can actually that's probably not a bad idea so if I used ender tanks then I can I can simply take all these fluids with ender tanks um, closer to my AE network and then I can actually um, store the the solid blocks because then I can just use the ender tank to pull it out of you know take an ender tank casting basin and then pull it out and put it straight into AE so that's probably what I'll do. Um, some of these I might might try the fluid storage, um, like with at mob essence or something else. But you know, again, I mean, I'm literally, you know, I've got, you know, this is the perfect setup I think for these fluid cows using the turtles. So that's, I mean, I'm pretty, pretty proud of myself. That's, it's actually pretty cool. So let's just stick this back. Turtle that. And that. Okay. Um, another thing I did. So I had been using a Manulian hoe. Aromatic. And the problem was it kept breaking and I kept having to um, go and repair it and everything. So I actually found that if I just made a simple stone matic. Um, and I, you can actually upgrade, um, you know, with, with, you know, to, um, what is this unbreakable? If it gets, uh, unbreaking 10 on it, I think it goes to unbreakable. So I also put fortune three on it. So this Matic within this farming station will never break. So I don't have to come back here and touch it at all. So I think right now I've got, um, diamond, what's this one? Obsidian. Oh, that's glowstone. This is, I've got emerald crops um this is i got wither crops um so if you put a skeleton in witch water you can get you can capture a wither skeleton um so i use that to actually get some wither heads or wither skeleton heads and then i use those to make the crops and then the nice thing is if you um if you do the crops then you can actually make more wither skulls and you can kind of go from there which and I've tested this a few times just to make sure it works. Up here, I have built a reinforced obsidian, which is wither proof. You can see it up there in the tooltip. Um, so we'll kill a couple withers real quick just for fun. And that'll be the, the way we end the episode. Um, and I've done it a few times just to make sure it couldn't get out. I, I think it probably could glitch out if it really wanted to, but. Um, one of the other things I did was I have um, I was able to put on the ultimate strength gem, and you can see 56 attack damage, um, and it's unbreakable. So this is the perfect sword to kill stuff with. When I want mob heads, I can still use my cleaver because this has beheading two on it, and I get mob heads quite often. Um, so let's grab some wither heads or wither skulls, and I can show you. So here you can see this is building up. So this is how I've been making wither skulls. More than I know what to do with. So let's grab three, four, five, six. 
and let's grab some soul sand and let's just grab eight of those and we'll come up here kill a couple of uh, withers get a few uh, maybe we can create some portals but it doesn't really matter too much uh, I want to take this nook off so let's put these down here and those down there so let's um i have only ever killed in the uh, wither um maybe once and we'll just come out here and let him blow up I'll let those guys blow up but i've only ever killed the wither once in the real world so those guys are done. Let's just stop this. Just them really quick, and you'll see how fast. They and they're both done. Uh oh. Well, that was close. So he did. He did get out. But at any rate, we killed him quick enough before. I think he did any damage. We might have tried to take a couple shots at the, the cows. Let's see. Now it looks like everything's still pretty much intact. So we got lucky on that. He did escape through the thing. Um, the nice thing is you get Zavicio Essence from that. Um, miniature Hearts. Um, and your Division Sigils. And of course your Nether Stars. Um, so that is about where we'll leave it. Um, I'll continue with my... Move fluid cow. Um, I'll try to get one of every move fluid cow. Let's put these stars back in. Get rid of all this junk. Um, probably the next couple of things we'll do is so I'll, I'll need to. Oops, don't fall off. A um, couple, a few of the next things I need to do is I need to rip out all of this bottom stuff since we're not going to use the hopper timers. They just weren't efficient enough um, and safe enough for the cows. So I need to rip out all of this stuff. I'll take off the one on the top there too. I'll get rid of this guy. We'll, uh, we'll spawn a few more of the Moo, Moo Fluid cows so I can get one of everyone. Um, I have quite a few. I might have a few duplicates, but... Um, so these are all the ones I've captured. I'm basically, you know, I capture one, I name it in the anvil, and then I, when you, um, let's see if I've got one. So once you've named it in the anvil, you can then release it and capture it again, and it'll, there we go, here's one, here's cobalt. So I renamed this one in the anvil, just a cobalt. And then once you release it, it has that name. And once you've named an animal, it's not going to get away. So that's, that's what I've been doing with those. Now let's check out our ingots. You know, I've got 83,000 iron. Uh, probably need to think about moving that into a deep store. 32,000 copper. I'll probably need to move quite a few of these into the deep storage. Uh, there's the extra bedrockium ingots I have from when I made my bedrockium drum. Um, I've got you know, quite a few, so we'll be able to get pretty much everything. I don't think there's a a move fluid cow for Yalorium. That would be pretty nice. Um, but we'll just have to keep going. Um, I do have pocophinium. I've got signalum. Um, so I think we can get most of the ores. Um, at the very least, we just need to get... Um, get a, a reactor online. We'll probably build that next. Tear down all this crap, get all the rest of the move fluid cows, and maybe we'll take a trip to the nether or end or the end the next time. I haven't been to either one of those places yet. So um, thanks for watching. Um, leave a comment, like, or do whatever you want. Um, and I will talk to you guys later. Thanks.